How you doing, everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. So I hope everybody's been liking all the lathe hacks. And this is a pretty important one I want to talk about. Uh, I got roughly 10 little quickie things to talk about. Uh, this is safety. And safety is paramount when you're working in the shop. I don't care if you're woodworking, metalworking, fixing cars, you know, heavy equipment, on a ship, whatever it is. Uh, safety is, is really is up, utmost important. And uh, I'm just going to go down uh, roughly 10 something, 10, 10 little quickie things and uh, just talk about them real quick. And uh, number one, glasses. Safety glasses. Um, Z87 is the standard pretty much uh, for safety glasses, but, but safety glasses, whether it's prescription, non -prescri these are non-prescription, these are, they meet the standards, and they have bifocals in them so I can see a little better, but safety glasses. Protect your eyes at all costs. Um, you only get two, and uh, that's about it, so <laughs> uh, protect your eyes. Face shields work, a little more difficult to use, but they do work, make sure they're clean. Uh, if you have a guard that comes down over the chuck, uh, that helps, but wear still wear glasses. Don't trust any of that stuff. You never know when uh, something from somebody else, if there's somebody else working around you or in the shop, that's they're, what they're doing might affect you. So have glasses on. Next thing, long sleeves. Long sleeves, they're fine. And as long as they're tight. I used to have to work in long sleeves all the time, all the time. Uh, it was required when I worked for Sea River. And so they're, they're safe. I never was hurt because of my sleeves, never once. Uh, so, but make sure they're tight. No jewelry, rings, bracelets, whatever, earrings, I don't know, whatever. No jewelry. You don't need it. All it is is going to have something to catch on and something to get you hurt. Long hair. I don't need it. I used to have long hair a long time ago, but now I like it short. It's a lot cooler. But long hair. Make sure it's tied back. Make sure it's out of the way. If you got a shirt that has tails, make sure they're tucked in. Shirt with tails. That can really get you. Grabbing the lead screw down there. They'll pull you right in. Next thing you know, your face is in the chuck. The chuck. The chuck key. Make sure it's out. Once you get it in there, once your work's in and they're aligned and you're done with it, make sure it's out. Make sure you can't turn your lathe on while you're using your chuck key. Make sure it's either in neutral like this is. This is in neutral right now. Of course, I have no power on the lathe. but. It's in neutral. Uh, make sure you, you take that key out and put it in the rack. Nice and safe spot for it. Can't hurt anything, can't fall on you, can't do anything. Clearances. If you got those jaws out, make sure they're going to clear your ways. Make sure they're going to clear your work, your, your tooling, your tool post, your carriage. Down, down here, if it has to be something more that's going over the, underneath the chuck. Make sure you have clearance, spin your lathe, make sure nothing's going to hit. Very important. If you use the parallel in here to square your work up, which is very common practice, make sure you remove that parallel. Don't leave it in the chuck. Take that thing out. That thing will come flying right out at you. Files. If you're going to use a file, make sure the carriage is back. Hopefully you can get it back if you're not using your center. Now, there's a few ways to use the file, and can't tell you how to do it. Best to do it safely, right? Uh, can't babysit you, but make sure there's a handle. No file without a handle you should never use on a lathe, never ever. That thing can come, end up in your hand, end up in your body. Don't use a file without a handle. Uh, a lot of people like to reach over, make sure that 
tip of that file is away. This is what will get you as if it jams in like that. Keep the tip away. Better off over here, of course. It's a little harder to control what you're doing. It's kind of nice to be able to rest your arm, but uh, this also is a, a lot safer probably. But if you use a file, make sure it's a handle. Operation of your lathe. Know all the controls of your lathe, what they do and how they work. And it takes practice and experience, of course. Know how to turn your lathe on and off. Know how to move your carriage, which way it's going to go, in and out. Threading. Know how that operates, your half nut or power feeds. But know what your controls do and how to run them. If, if something happens, you jam a tool, break a tool, you need to know how to get that tool post away from the work or get the carriage away from the work or stop your lathe. These are very important items you should you need to know. Next big one, the last big one I got here right now is awareness. Being aware of your surroundings. If you have other people working around you, uh, they need to understand that you're busy, of course, and, and they're busy, but you can't be disturbed when you're operating a, a lathe. Uh, a piece of equipment can bite you in a split second. And once you look away, once you, if you haven't stepped away, you know, that thing could get you. If you're right here operating the machine, make sure you stop the machine before you talk to somebody. Or make sure you, before you look away, if they want to show you something. Uh, in my work, when I worked on a ship, we were very busy people. There were, weren't a lot of us, but we were very busy, all of us. And uh, if you were doing something with a piece of equipment, you, you had to stop what you're doing, make sure it was safe, and then you could talk to somebody. You just, it, was just a, it was just a standard practice. And you get very used to doing that. No operation is that critical. Uh, when you're doing something like this, uh, that you should be able to stop or you, somebody might have to wait a minute while you finish your cut and then stop the machine. But awareness of your surroundings and so you're not going to be disturbed or you understand what somebody else is doing so that you're not going to get hurt. But that goes along with the operation of the... All right, you guys. That's it for a quick one. Be safe in your shop. I work alone in my shop. 90% of the time, probably 99% of the time, except when my son's here. But I, I, so I don't have a lot of disturbances, and I can really concentrate on what I'm doing, and that's all good. And I, I don't know about a lot of you, and uh, if you work alone or if you're working with other people, but other people can get you hurt sometimes. So uh, be safe out there. And have fun in your shop. That's what it's about. Uh, enjoying what you're doing and making nice things and uh, just having a good time. I want to thank you guys for everybody for watching all my uh, tips and tricks and uh, and the, all the. I want to thank everybody for watching the videos and all the great subscribers are now watching and I do appreciate it. And uh, please stay tuned in for more. Make sure you watch all the other hacks we got. And uh, I'll be uh, seeing you in the next one.